Hey guys, it's Nurse Gwenny. Let's talk for a second about pulmonary toileting. Sometimes in critical care, we get hung up on the big fancy equipment we have or uh, protocols to do really cool, sexy things like finger thoracostomies and be getting really good at ventilator management and things like that. But sometimes we forget about the basics or about the really simple things that can make a huge difference in the morbidity and mortality of our patients. And pulmonary toileting is one of those things. So that is just doing things to help clear the garbage out of a patient's lungs. So think about if you have something simple like a rib fracture patient that they're seeing in the ER, right? They come in and they come in breathing about down to here. They do not breathe down to the full volume of their lungs because it hurts so bad. One of the ways that we generate this negative pressure, we drop our diaphragm and we use, use our intercostal muscles to generate that negative pressure to draw a deep breath in. But that is super painful for our patients who have a rib fracture from tripping over the cat or, uh, you know, some sort of traumatic injury. So uh, what we see in those patients is oftentimes they advance to pneumonia, not because their lung was hurt in the initial injury, but because they're not practicing pulmonary toileting. They're breathing really shallow and it's not washing out all that yuck and junk down in the bottom of their lungs in those alveoli. Think about um, any other pneumonia patient, something simple like physiotherapy, like doing percussive therapy, cupping your hands and, and uh, gently kind of booping your patient on their back in their lung fields to help break up that junk. Things like giving them humidified uh, oxygen if they're on oxygen or even just uh, putting a sick kiddo with a respiratory virus near a humidifier to help kind of loosen those bronchial secretions so that they can then <coughs> have a big cough and clear all of that junk out. So uh, though it's cool to have all of these neat tools and procedures and guidelines at our fingertips, don't forget about the basics because it really can help your patients heal from their uh, respiratory pathologies.